I'm Chris and Chris and welcome to So Cool Well Science! Science you can do at home! I'm just checking out some eroded rock and going over today's science file. In today's science file, who is that? How can water erode hard rock away? Well, that's a great question. Try this! You will need a bar of soap and your shower. Okay, you are gonna head to your bathroom and bring with you a brand new hard bar of soap because I am gonna show you some er um, to erosion. <laughs> Is that a Freudian slip? You just happy to see me. <laughs> because I am gonna show you some erosion. Now, place your soap just slightly off to the side of the drain. Now, all you gotta do is take a shower. That's it, that's all you gotta do. You just take a shower, just take your normal daily shower. Check this out. After you've left your soap near the drain for a couple of weeks, it starts to look just like eroded rock. Just like rock you would see that's been eroded away in nature. <laughs> this is so wicked cool! Oh yeah, by the way, I should probably tell you, you should only do this once and then check it each week. Because, you know, if you do this more than once, <laughs> you're gonna get a nice view of plumber's crack. <laughs> so, why does the soap look like plumber's crack? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> so, why does the soap look like... So, why does the soap look like eroded rock? And, how does erosion work? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. Water erosion happens when the flow of water causes sand, soil, or rock to chip away at the Earth's surface. Water erosion usually starts out when the force of raindrops cause soil or rock to break off into tiny pieces. These tiny pieces are carried into flowing water and tiny grains of sand, soil, and rock can chip into hard rocks, breaking off tiny pieces of that rock, as well as other rocks that get pushed along in the flow of the water. Just like how the soap erodes from the flowing water. Minerals in your shower water chip away at the soap, reshaping the bar of the soap over the course of weeks. In fact, if you let the soap sit there, it would fully erode away completely. Given enough time, flowing water from rivers can cut huge trenches in rock, forming canyons. The Colorado River has been eroding rock for about 6 to 10 million years, forming the Grand Canyon. Flowing water isn't the only way that water erodes the surface of Earth. Mountains, cliffs, and shorelines can also be eroded by water in wave form. These waves smash into the rock with so much force it causes the rock to bend and crack. With continued slamming of waves against these split rocks, eventually this causes pieces of the rock to break completely off the side of the mountain or cliff. In fact, this is how some sea stacks are formed. So now you know more about erosion. You know, seeing erosion take place right in your bathroom is why science is so cool.